the connection to the sewer system we can start from the toilet which is uh, the far away in the building and when starting from the toilet we can go down with our page down key to a specific forgiven height and in relations to the slope we can see that this pipe will go down uh, accordingly to the to the set slope and um, we cannot have a bend on 90 degrees on this part and when turning off the orthogonal mode we are able to have a 90 degree bend like this first thing is about selecting this bend and replacing the bend with a right mouse key by two bends and we can give the distance between these two bends which needs to be inserted like this Right. For making the next uh, uh, connection or automatic connection, it is important to turn around the drawing direction. As we can see on the endpoint of this pipe, the drawing direction is started from the from the uh, the toilet itself. By inserting now a calculation point, we are able to draw the or turn the drawing direction by executing the calculation. We don't have to do the calculation entirely. So by clicking OK, it is enough to draw uh, the drawing direction the opposite side. In this case I will delete the calculation point and when we now look to the connection from the toilet we can see that the drawing direction is changed. This change is important for us to have a proper connection from the other components which we can use the auto connect function uh, with the pipe into, uh, into the floor. Well for the next connection uh, the two uh, toilets on this side, we will start again from the same toilet on the sewer system, going down with page down to a specific height 0 0.15, but instead for making the connection directly, we will put in a bend of 45 degrees with a small piece of duct uh, pipe, and with the enter function we accept this, uh, this endpoint. Um, by choosing an insert of a T in the main string, we can have a 45 degree bend to, uh, uh, into the direction of the pipe which needs to be connected. And instead of start drawing um, turn on, I will ch uh, disable this checkbox. So I don't want to start uh, drawing after this T. Well, we can now select the endpoint of this pipe and with the um, filled rectangular node we can move our mouse to the node and use the function with right mouse key and say move end drawing pipe. And this will give us the possibility to lower down the connected pipe element uh, to the same height as where the T is inserted into the main string in the main branch. So when looking to this in 3D we can see that the slope from the toilet itself will, will, will remain intact for making the connection upwards to the, to the main string and the T. Uh, when uh, doing this we can also use the function for the automatic connection for the second toilet into the floor. Okay. Well, we can do this exercise also on the other part and uh, if we now start from the toilet and go down to the same height on 15 and I will insert again a bend of 45 degrees into this direction and also place manually a T part. The T part in this branch uh, in the main string is also 45 degrees to the left. Uh, make sure that the checkbox is turned off. And if we now, before connecting, uh, will look to this uh, segment, we can see that the T itself is on a different level than the outcome. So in 2D we will select the endpoint of this band and we will move the endpoint in the direction of the T and when now looking in the camera view we can see that the rest of the slope system of the sewer system with the slope is lowered to the needs for making the connection to this T, uh, T part. Also uh, on this part we can uh, change and make the connections to uh, the automatic function for the second, uh, second toilet in the string. Alright, what is important when we are changing things with already connected components, we can use a function of inserting two splits uh, quite close to each other and we can delete uh, the segment in between of the split. This means that the system will now be split into two different systems and if we change to have the setting for this uh, 
outcome of the sewer system and we need to adjust the height to for example minus 0 0.5 we can see that for this string when selecting the circuit this string is lowered to minus one point uh, minus 0 0.5 um, on the other side we also would like to have this connection to the same height as where the new main string is coming in so we can use the same function by selecting the start of this pipe element and right mouse click on the filled node and move the start point into the end point this means that the pipe which was split into two different systems is now merged into one system and if we look to the camera view in 3d uh, we can see that the rest of the system is also changed and uh, is lowered so in this way we can uh, always make the connection also from the start point uh, from a toilet but making the connection by inserting a separate T into the main string.